Stephen Yanni here at High Octane Classics in Auburn, Massachusetts with a cool green Mopar. This is a 1973 Challenger Rally. Uh, of course, 1973, next to last year for the mighty Challenger E-Body until its rebirth in the late 70s. And again, of course, more recently is the mighty uh, LH platform, LX platform. Uh, but this one here is a pretty cool piece. It's slightly customized. Again, being a 73, it does have the correct protruding bumper with fillers as Dodge, like the rest of the auto industry, sought to meet the federal bumper mandate. So that's all correctly presented. The grill's been blacked out. It does have the RT style um, hood blackout and the correct Challenger Rally power bulge hood. Cool to see. And this one has been modified. The uh, ducts have been opened here. Uh, the panel is unscrewed, so they do flow air into the engine bay to reduce underhood temperatures, which is cool. Uh, let's pop the hood and see what's going on underneath. Nice, 340 small block. And 1973, final year for the 340 engine. This would grow to a 360 for 1974, but this one's been lightly modified. An Edelbrock aluminum intake, Edelbrock four-barrel carburetor, Correct dual snorkel, high performance style air cleaner with extra flow capability, but still with the silencing effect of the enclosed filter. Uh, billet aluminum style valve covers, cool. A couple of Headman powder coated, uh, ceramic coated headers, an extra oh, 10 or 15 horsepower. Um, four speed manual transmission, recently recorded radiator. And this one is one of 27,930 Challengers built in 1973 as the Pony Car War wound down. Well, check it out. Dodge sold again, just about 28,000 Challengers. Over at Plymouth, well, 19,281 Barracudas. So Challengers were more popular than Barracudas in 73 by about 30%. Go figure, they're both great today. Now this one, as a rally, does have disc brakes up front and it has 15 by 7 1971 uh, rims which is a cool add-on of course 1973 the 15 inch wheels were discontinued 14 inch only but this one is a day two custom has been upgraded again with those cool 15 by 7 rally wheels inside you gotta love it man the four speed the pistol grip four speed manual transmission uh, got the rally gauge cluster bucket seats of course Nice clean dash pad, and just a great example of the E-Body Mopar. And again, this was Dodge's first pony car, 1970 through 74. The Challenger arrived to take on Mustang, Camaro, Firebird, Javelin, and yeah, even Barracuda. But again, 1973, Challengers outsold Barracudas by about 30%. Kind of an interesting fact. At the rear, we have another 15 by 7 inch rally wheel, 10-inch uh, drum brakes, heavy-duty leaf springs as seen on rallies. And uh, as a 73, we see again the filler panel here between the bumper and the body. Again, this is a mandate, which was part of the uh, uh, protruding the bumper out further from the body helps reduce impact damage at low speeds. Again, part of the federal bumper campaign as it crept its way into production cars. Uh, this one does have an aftermarket go-wing style spoiler on the deck lid. Looks good. The crackle finish is kind of cool. Not factory, but again, it's a day two fun machine. And speaking of that kind of stuff, factory are the dual exhaust coming out of the rear valance. That's a rally challenger item right there. Good to see it. And below the rear axle, that's the eight and three quarter, the mighty eight and three quarter. And that's something you would have found on all V8 Challengers in 1973. Speaking of which, no slant sixes after 1972 in Challenger. They were all V8s, 318s or 340s. Okay, so look inside the trunk, let's see what we got. Yeah, nice, it's crisp, serviceable, all metal, no clear signs of any kind of uh, patchwork or, or repairs, uh, very serviceable, nice car, no uh, Bondo. And uh, you know, a lot of times, I, I grew up here in Massachusetts, sometimes you'll look in the trunk of a car, you'll see right through the ground, not here, it's a nice clean example. So that's the story of this 1973 Challenger 340 four-speed car. And this car can be financed here at High Octane Classics with as little as 10% down. They'll happily deliver the car to your place of work, your school, uh, wherever you might like it. And they do accept trades here at High Octane Classics, late models, Classic vehicles, uh, daily drivers, it's all possible in a trade, that's fine. And keep in mind that High Octane Classics is going on 12 years in business and they're always looking for new inventory and people to join the staff. Uh, if you'd like to maybe join the sales or service department, give them a call. Or if you have a car to sell, 150, give them a call as well. That number is 508-859-4515. And to learn more about this 1973 four-speed 340 Challenger next to the last, Check it out on the High Octane Classics website.